It's here, it's here, it's here. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm guessing you know by the title that the new Fifty Shades project has started. It is Fifty Shades of Green. And I have been watching Fifty Shades of Purple and I have been wanting to get in and I have been waiting. And so now the new color is here. Let's go. Let's totally go. So grab yourselves whatever your beverage is. I'm not gonna even question what that beverage might be. I do occasionally say cocktail. It's from being in the bar industry for so many years. Even as someone who didn't drink for nine years, I still say that, I just a habit. So tea, soda, coffee, cocktail, whatever you need. This is gonna be a long one. We're introducing all the products. And I'm me, so you know I didn't follow the rules. I have my own plan here because I have a problem. Well, I have a lot of problems, but this problem this project is gonna help me fix. That's the goal. Okay, so let's jump in. I have always told you guys Bath & Body Works is out of control. My collection is insane. I don't even know how this happened. So what I started with was my Bath & Body Works stuff. So I'm gonna run through these products. I'm gonna list everything below. Oh, God, I didn't even tell you. Um, I really am excited. This runs April 15th, 2022 to April 15th, 2023. It's gonna have monthly updates. Any level of greenness counts. That's a direct quote. This is from Jessica Lee, Amanda, and Cece. And this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. All the deets in the description box. You know the drill. And don't forget, people, do all the things. Do all the things for me. You know how much I enjoy it. Subscribe, like, comment, all the things. Okay, let's get into it because I'm too excited and I want to get going here. And my husband wants all this crap off my table because it's been sitting here for weeks in preparation. So... I'm starting with my bucket of shower gels. Yes, that is correct. There's a bucket here. All right. We've got, oh lordy, we have got all kinds of stuff going on. Where's the first one? We have Perfect Peony shower gel. We have a Vanilla Bean Noel shower gel. Now, all this stuff is marked, by the way, so we'll keep track. Um, all right, we've got Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. We have got Bourbon Strawberry and Vanilla. And these are all in very stages of used, but I need to get these out of here. Okay, beautiful day. Um, hello, beautiful. And I'm you're seeing the green here, right? You're seeing it. Okay, uh, I've got, I have got, okay, this is a body shop. This is a vanilla verbena shower gel. And nope, that's not it. This is the Vanilla Verbena. This is a Bath & Body Works. The Body Shop is a Moringa shower gel. I've got so much stuff, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, this one is a Skin & Co. I have never used this. It's brand new. It is blue in Capri, but the product itself is green. Uh, so I think that was from an old FabFitFun box or something. We're going to work on that one. Then we have Almond & Vanilla Body Wash. We have... A Hello Beautiful body, moisturizing body wash, because, you know, why not have all of them? I have weighed all of these things, and we're going to keep track of my progress. The whole point of this is that I'm here for six months, almost to the day for this project, and I need to get rid of this crap. It is insane how much junk I have. So my goal is literally to finish all of that. We'll get where we get, Okay. If I finish, great. If I don't, great. I can't use the same thing every day, so I actually have all of those going at once. But those are what I'm focusing on, and we'll just update as we go along. Now, to go with that, we have the lotions and sprays. I'm going to exceed 50. Shouldn't even be a surprise. So we've got the Perfect Peony. We've got Hello Beautiful. We've got Vanilla Bean Noel. We've got Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. We have an almond vanilla. We have a bourbon strawberry and vanilla. A beautiful day. Um, a vanilla verbena. Those things have been out of the line for 100 years. I do have a matching body shop moringa. Body milk. Moringa body milk is what that one's called. I have a baby, hello beautiful, that I'll probably use as a hand lotion and try and get rid of that. But we've got sprays. We've got Hello Beautiful and Perfect Peony in the spray. We have an almond vanilla spray. And we have a vanilla 
verbena body mist. Does anybody count in here? I actually do have these numbered too, so let's see. So far, we're at 25. Half, half is just this junk. But there's more. Not everything in this project could be Bath and Body Works, people. That's not a, this is not a Bath and Body Works project. This is a green project. There is more. Okay, so I did include some fun things because I wanted some fun things. I've got some gimmies too. So, you know, I have a v v v Vanilla Bean Noel single wick candle. Actually, I have two of those. I have got a love candle. There is green on that. I have got a love in the triple wick. All brand new. None of these have burned yet. But you know I love my candles. So I wanted to do some of those. And then this was, what's left of it, was a present from um, a family member for Christmas. This is summer slices. And this one is a village candle. I, It smells like Was a little bit watermelony, but it's really nice. I like I like the fruity and the floral. So those are all in the project to completion. Ah, hurt my hand doing that. Okay, so those were the candles. Like I said, I gotta have some gimmies, and you guys know how quickly I can go through candles. Then we have an old biolage something color care conditioner. I haven't colored my hair in years. Years, people. I just gave up. I'm lazy. But I want to get this out of the collection, so I'll use it anyway. I have got a Diva Curl Super Stretch Curl Elongator. No clue what that's going to do, but we'll give that a shot. I am going to mispronounce this. Thick High? I don't know. Shampoo and Conditioner Foil Packet. Can You, you guys can see. That's the name. No idea how to pronounce that. Don't even know where that came from. Um... I don't even think I'm following my list at this point anymore. I'm just running through things. I have, nope, I don't have that. That one's, I'm taking out. This is what I'm putting in. I have an old Kate Somerville mask. It's exfoliate, and I can't actually use it as a mask, but the product itself is green. There's a little bit in the cap. Can you kind of tell? Uh, so I'm gonna use this as a body scrub and get this out of the bathroom too. Yeah. I have, a Not Your Mother's Clean Free Dry Shampoo Mini that I want to finish up. I have got a Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum hair oil that I'm going... It's actually a hair gloss. Very pretty. Makes it shiny. I should have put some in. I'm going to use that up. I have a Love Hand Cream. You know we're going to use that up because I go through those pretty quickly. Now, I have a thing. And this is only going to make sense to some of you. Some of you, it's not going to. But I have EDS, so I have chronic pain, a lot of it. And when you have chronic pain, it becomes part of your normal. So sometimes you don't even think about it. You'll be like, oh, yeah, that hurts, and you just kind of go on with your business. But I have pain creams. I have a lot of pain creams. These are all real-time pain relief, and these are all minis. So I've got a max. I've got one, two, and three of just the regular, and I numbered them. So we're going to start with one next to the bedside table, one in the purse, and then we're going to rotate through. So all three of those need to go. I have a therapeutic hand cream, which considering I have permanent damage right here, that's not a bad thing. I have a little roller ball of the Hemp Oil Plus, little tiny thing, and then I have the Hemp Oil Plus lotion also. I have all of these. I need to finish them off. I have big sizes too. I have more of everything. This is this is just where I stopped because it was already getting out of control. I think I ended up with like 80 products by the time everything, nope, 84, 84. I can't follow rules to save my life here, people. But those are all little ones. Those are like purse items or things that I could go through quickly. And I need to actually think, oh, that hurts. We'll put something on. Those are all natural. They contain like 12 different really good ingredients. If you haven't heard of them, if you have pain issues, if you have pulled muscles, if you have dislocating joints, if you have whatever where you're having issues, the real-time pain relief, a lot of that stuff actually works on me even. And 
I don't notice a lot of times when things work because the way my pain is, things don't make it go away. There's nothing that makes pain go away. Um, if there are things that'll keep it manageable and in control, I, my hip is dislocated again. Ah. So, um, that's the kind of stuff that I need to be using when I do things like this. Like I tried to stand up from the chair. The elephant in the room, why halfway through this I'm going on a tangent, I don't know. But the elephant in the room is yes, this is the same outfit from the last video. I was so freaking excited and I'm actually wearing green. So I wanted to get this filmed. So yes, I did double film my last one and this one. I just want, I just really wanted to get this stuff back where it goes so that I can start using it so that I'm ready as soon as the 15th hits. Um, which actually is only a couple of days away. I'm not filming too early and it's going to take me two days to figure out how to get all this into the description box. So there you go. Oh God, I have another box I totally forgot about. Wow. All right. So we've got some more fun stuff here. I have a Revolution Purifying Priming Water. Green, green, green. So we want to use that up. I have got the Clean Reserve Perfume Sampler. I haven't even opened this yet. I got this from the Sephora sale b before Christmas. So that's in there. I have got, this is so pretty. This is the Peace Blend Box. And it's all the samples of the perfume. So I want to use, that's also a, that was also a VIB thing. So I want to use that up. Then, on the perfume train. Oh, there's more. I've got the Joe Malone minis. Oops. Darn it. I ripped the box. That's a pretty box. We got those. So then we have, this is House of Siege. This is the trend number five. Just a little one. We have a Joe Malone English pear and freesia. Pears are green. So any level of greenness. We have a clean reserve in Fresh Fleur, and then Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Daisies have green stems. I may be pushing a little bit on this, but I didn't think it was too much. And like I said, I gotta have some gimmies in here because some of this stuff is ridiculous, so, you know. I have got, ooh, there's more perfume. These are Clinique's Happy. Um, I think they're the Happy. Yeah, my Happy. And these are the Peace and Jasmine, is the green one. So I've got two of those to use. Then I've got some Pharmacy, the Green Clean. I've got two brand new ones here, the little cleansing balms. So those are in. I have got a Caudalie uh, Vino Pure, Pure Flying, Purifying Gel Cleanser. And then, I don't know where I got these. Hi, high expectations. Uh, one of them is a facial oil and the other one is a cannabis facial moisturizer. So, got those. See, I just, I have stuff everywhere. You guys would be amazed if you ever saw how incredibly crazy this place is. I have just so much stuff. Okay, I have, good Lord. Oh, I have a tiny little milk hydro grip. We're gonna use that. I have a brand new bottle of the Clinique. Even better, Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15, evens and corrects. I am C29 Bisque. And this is a brand new bottle. But I would like to get some foundations out this year. So we're going to see what we can do for doing some damage to that. I have what's left of my little Mud Masky Overnight Mask. Um, I have a simple Sensitive Skin Experts Protecting Light Moisturizer, which I would like to finish up. Then, it's never ending. I have, what is this one? Wait a second, glasses, I can't actually read the small print. It's a pharmacy something. This one is oil-free gel moisturizer with moringa and papaya. I don't even know what moringa is, you guys, but I like it, um, at least from the body shop. That's actually the second bottle of that that I've used. So I've got my little pharmacy moisturizer here. I have a peach and lily matcha pudding antioxidant cream. I'm so excited I can't get my words out. And then I have a La Mer moisturizing cream. Yeah. And there's more. All right. This was an oops. I ended up getting 
I think it was an AIA bundle and it was all Naturium, which I've never tried before, but there's a niacinamide gel cleanser and a niacinamide serum 12% plus zinc 2%. Weighty little thing. Uh, so we're gonna throw those in. All right, that is, holy cow. I'm telling you, it's a lot. I know, I'm, I'm nuts, what can I say? I'm trying to stay somewhat organized, but you know that's a losing battle. I mean, come on, it's me. You guys don't really expect that much of me, do you? Come on. You know better by now, I would assume, that I'm just going to be a disaster every which way we look at it. I'm trying to get this all back in the box so that I can get some stuff out of the way because now there's makeup. I wasn't going to do a project and not do some makeup. I mean, let's be realistic here. I have too much makeup to not do it. But this is going to require glasses once again. Now, with all of these products, my main goal is going to be, um, I put it down as five uses each because like I said, I only have six months and I don't wear green a ton. So I want to make sure that I get all of this stuff in, including getting everything, t goodness, everything done with my other projects too, so that I'm not neglecting other stuff just to do all of this. But so we've got eyeliners to start with. Nighttime in the Jungle by Essence. This one is an extreme lasting 16 hour waterproof eye pencil. I have got an LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner. Oh, I love these. And I th this is brand new, it's still sealed. This one is in GP752 Dragon. I've got the world's oldest Mary Kay liner in, it's actually called Bahama Blue. But it's kind of a teal. Well, it looks kind of blue there. Well, you can, yeah, it's kind of a teal. Okay, we know I suck at swatches. This is nighttime in the jungle because this one's open. So it almost looks brown. It's a really super deep olive. I really do enjoy it. I've got another brand new one. This is a Sephora collection. This one is number 16 glitter green. And this is also waterproof. And then, I wait, I did one of these. Dragon, I did. The other LA Girl Shockwave liner I have is in... GP736 Fresh, also brand new sealed. Some of these, yes, I know I'm putting in brand new products. The reason I'm doing some of these is because these are things that I have in both locations because I'm gonna start with a new list when I get to Arizona in October. So I literally have six months for all of this and then we're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. And I already have my stuff collected there too, not to worry. Okay, so. The stuff you guys really like seeing from me is my bizarre collection of eyeshadows. All right, so I have got the Elf Mint Melt in Mint to Be and Chocolate Mint. So you can see, obviously, you can see there's dog fur, um, but those are both greens. My lighting isn't that great. A little better than what it was, but still not great. Okay, we have got Musée Beauty, still sealed in the package. This actually was a want, a love on the list for quite some time. This is the, that's obnoxious. This one I believe is the Impressionism palette. Okay, the packaging is freaking stunning. I am a huge Impressionist fan, but look at those colors. Look at those greens in there. Um, it, okay, so it's kind of a rainbow palette, but I really wanted it. So, all right, I have a Copacetic and M. Jones collab, M. Jones 5018 called The Companion. See the puppy? Oh, and I just lost a shadow. Don't you love this? It's almost like live TV. Okay, that just completely fell apart all over the place. Um, you can kind of see some of the colors, but that pink just shattered on me. So we'll be fixing that. And now I have pink eyeshadow all over me. Gotta be careful with some of these. They're delicate. I will take care of that later. Then I have Simply Posh Mint Cherry. And once again, unused brand new rainbow palette. 
what else can you say? So basically everything that I'm putting in here is pretty much unused. Well, that stuff all was. This is definitely, definitely not. This one is that. La Vida en Prince. Print, I, I got nothing. It's a BH Cosmetics palette. And this one I included because it has that gorgeous green. So that and it's pretty. I really like it. This is actually one of my favorite BH palettes, which is probably surprising because I don't remember anybody ever talking about this. I don't even know how I found it. But, you know, then I have Nomad's Berlin Underground. God, could I be a worse YouTuber trying to show you guys these things? I haven't touched this one yet. This one is brand new to me. And I really want their newest palette too, but I should probably work on what I have. This is the Revolution Chilled with Cannabis Sativa palette. And this pretty much is a green palette. Oh, wait, wait, let's get the plastic out of there. I'm blinding y'all. This I have used a couple of times and I'm not gonna use the glitters. I mean, I'm just gonna tell you that right now, I'm not gonna do it. But there's some really nice greens in here and I'm not a huge Revolution fan, so it's kind of impressive that I like this one. All right, I got my two Gimme Glows. I have Vivid Rose and Vintage Rose. Now, there's not a green in here, and this one's the Vivid, but it's my color story, you guys. You know I gotta use it, and there's green on the packaging. Any level counts. Vintage Rose does have a green in it. Actually, it's got a couple, or kind of gold green. That gold green, isn't that pretty? And of course my pinks. So, ouch, pulling my own hair with my makeup. That's always nice. Skills, people, skills. Okay, that is all 82 products. That is a lot of products. But, like I said, I've got some gimmies in here, I got some easies in here, and I've got some that are just usage, which is the makeup part of it, because that's a lot of stuff, especially for six months. So, five uses on all of the makeup items, and then everything else, all of my piles of junk, I want to try and finish. We'll get where we get. I'm not going to get down on myself if I can't meet those goals, but every little bit helps, and I am trying my best to cut down on what I have because I have so much, and I still buy. I'm not on a no buy or even a low buy technically. I just need to use up some stuff that's older, as you may have noticed from all my other projects. All right, so aside from the weird paint and cream thing, everything else should be stuff that you guys are pretty much used to. I don't link things. Uh, we're not here to buy, we're here to clean out. So if there is stuff that I have that you like, by all means, look it up, go ahead. More power to you. I mean, I'm not stopping myself from buying, but None of my stuff should ever be triggering. I don't want that for you guys, okay? So, that is everything. I I will have everything listed in the description box. I have weights on everything except for like the eyeshadow palettes. So I will keep things rolling. I will update on things that I'm actually making progress on. We're not gonna spend 25 minutes doing this in every single update. Um, and like I said, when we get to Arizona, we start over. See, that's why you should subscribe. We get to do this two times. That was lame. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ignore me completely when... Well, no, don't ignore me. Please subscribe. Stick around. See what I actually can accomplish with all of this. And um, give me a thumbs up. Throw me some comments. Are you doing this project? Are you as excited as I am? Can you not wait to start using some of your stuff? I... I'm overwhelmed. I am so excited. I am so grateful for this project. I think this is really going to help me. This is my first year as a panner. I just started this channel in January and I am thrilled to actually have a fire lit under my butt to get me motivated to get going and get rid of some of this stuff in my collection and make some room to just breathe. I don't even need to replace. I just need space to breathe because there's a whole backlog of things that aren't in this project. There's more green. There's a lot more green. There is every other color of the rainbow. This is the beginning. Jump in. There aren't rules. 
I mean, there are rules. It has to be some level of greenness. But, like, I pull the Daisy perfume because daisies have green stems. There's not green on that package. Join us. Don't hesitate. I did. I probably should have jumped in on purple and at least on a couple months of it, and I didn't. So join us. Maybe you don't have 50 products. Well, okay, you can introduce products later. That's okay. You don't have to do this crazy 80-some thing that I did. But join the Fantastic Ladies. They're amazing, amazing, a worth your time. And I'm horrible on my social medias. This is the only thing that I'm even remotely consistent in. But if there is anything that you take away from this, please, please, please check out the Fantastic Ladies. Please, please, please join all of us. Show your collection some love. That's what I'm going to try and do. All right, everybody. Thank you for your time. I do appreciate it. And thank you for um, bearing with me as I ran through that as quickly as humanly possible. Until next time, see ya. Bye.